Nintendo 3DS is a mass market device that lets you take and enjoy 3D digital pictures. You may want to try out this function at our booth. And I want to mention one more aspect. Nintendo 3DS is also capable of displaying 3D Hollywood movies. We are not announcing any specific plans this week, but at our booth, you will find demonstrators showing you 3D movie trailers for releases from Disney, Warner Brothers, and DreamWorks. You can see DreamWorks, How to Train Your Dragon, <laughs> Warner Brothers, Legend of the Guardian, and the Disney's Tangled, all playing in 3D on Nintendo 3DS. To our knowledge, this is the first time any such 3D content has been demonstrated without the need to wear glasses. However, in the end, gamers care most about games. You may remember an announcement we made in January 2009, establishing a joint venture called Project Sora. It was led by Mr. Sakurai. Today, I can announce that Project Sora was actually established for one reason, to create a game designed specifically for Nintendo 3DS. We felt such a project deserved to feature a character who is already familiar to many of you, especially if you've been playing games for a long time. We prepared this video just for our presentation today. But of course, the only true way to appreciate the impact of Kit Icarus in 3D is to see for yourself. And we we'll have 3D game trailer for you on the show floor beginning this afternoon. What you notice is that when 3D effects are added to gaming, the surprise it can offer is not limited to the characters themselves. In addition, there is a much better sense of the height, width, and the depth in your gaming world. And therefore, you have much better ability to navigate them. 
for example, in heat recall, you can more easily judge the distance between yourself and the floating object. But it's not just the 3D graphics that make Nintendo 3DS unique. Communication can even occur during sleep mode as Nintendo 3DS periodically searches for Wi-Fi access points or other Nintendo 3DS systems which are also ready to respond. It will then automatically communicate with them without you knowing it. You might remember Nintendo used a somewhat similar function, but in that case, communications were limited because if those owners started playing another game, the communication stopped. Nintendo 3DS works differently. The hardware itself supports automatic communication regardless of what software is being played. Nintendo 3DS can also communicate using the internet through Wi-Fi access points. Owners can navigate variable information without having to do anything proactively. Even when you are not near a Wi-Fi access point, you may discover that new stages, new quests, ghost data, and the new rankings have already been downloaded. And we will provide this kind of very unique communication service in a way that can be used by anyone, regardless of their technical knowledge or their gaming experience. And there is no need to pay a monthly fee. <laughs> now, let me conclude today by returning the topic of games. Before Nintendo DS and Wii were launched, the majority of people in our industry cannot believe that these unprecedented ideas from Nintendo would work. So, in those cases, it was our job to build and install base, first by developing and marketing own first-party software. Very fortunately, the situation is different this time. We at Nintendo have launched many hardware systems. But in this case, I feel we will enjoy our biggest launch support ever from third parties. Of course, internally, we are developing several kinds of games. For example, Mr. Miyamoto is working on a 3D version of Nintendo, and you are going to find it contains some new visitors. You will also discover several other Nintendo titles this week. But I'd like to spend more time introducing Nintendo 3DS software coming from third parties. Behind me, you see a partial list of companies who intend to publish software for Nintendo 3DS. I cannot name them all, but I do want to draw your attention to several of them. Activision and DJ Hero. Level 5. Square Enix, including Kingdom Hearts. THQ. Electronic Arts, including Madden NFL. Tecmo Koei Games. Capcom and Resident Evil. <laughs> Warner Brothers Games. Ubi Isoft with Assassin's Creed. Namco Bandai Games. And Konami with Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> to all of you developers and publishers, I want you to know that I'm truly grateful for the support you are offering. Thank you very much.